Good morning, good morning, good morning. We welcome you to our service, streaming to you almost live from the East Street Gospel Chapel right here in New Providence and the city of Nassau. We're coming to you from the East Street Gospel Chapel where Jesus Christ is Lord and everyone is special. Let us just bow in a word of prayer as we begin our time of the breaking of bread service. Father, indeed, we thank you for your presence with us today. We say, as the psalmist did, this is the day that the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Even now, as we go into our breaking of bread service, Lord, we pray for your presence. We pray, Lord, that we would reflect on the death, the burial, and the resurrection of our glorious Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ, even as we ask these things. In Jesus' name, and everybody said, Amen. Amen. We want you, as we begin, to look to the scriptures, and we will be reading from Hebrews, the book of Hebrews, chapter 9, Hebrews chapter 9, and we will read from verse 6 all the way down to verse 14 for our context today as we go into our remembrance service. By the way, I'm Pastor Ed Dorset and uh, the chairman here at the East Street Gospel Chapel, and we welcome you with us today in our service. I read, Now when these things were thus ordained, the priests went always into the first tabernacle, accomplishing the service of God. But into the second went the high priest alone, once every year, not without blood which he offered for himself and for the errors of the people. The Holy Ghost thus signifying that the way into the holiest of all was not yet made manifest, while as yet the first tabernacle was still standing, which was a figure for the time then present in which were offered both gifts and sacrifices that could not make him that did the service perfect as pertaining to this conscience which stood only in meats and drinks and divers washings and carnal ordinances imposed on them until the time of reformation but Christ being come a high priest of things good things to come by a greater and more perfect tabernacle not made with hands that is to say, not in this building, neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood he entered into once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. For if the blood of bulls and of goats and the ashes of a heifer, sprinkling the unclean, sanctified to the purifying of the flesh, how much more? shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal Spirit offered himself without spot to God, purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God. This is the holy and precious word of the Lord. And I'm sure today we can say we thank you for the blood, the blood of Christ thy Son, the blood by which our peace is made, our victory is won. Great victory over sin and death and woe that leave no second fight and leaves no second foe. Let's just sing that song at this time as we continue with our time of remembrance. No blood, no water now. The sacrifice is No Jumping 
bring down the four. We thank thee for the hope, so glad and sure and clear. It was a drooping spirit up till the long gone appear. Their hope with what a sun shine. I 
think of my blessed Redeemer. I think of him all the day long. I sing for I cannot be silent. His love is the theme of my song. Sing it out now, people. Redeem, redeem, redeem by the blood of the Lamb. Redeem, redeem, his child and forever I am. Can the church say amen? And at this time, we want to go into our time of pastoral prayer before we have the announcements. Pastoral prayer today, we know our concerns. We are facing another tropical storm. And of course, we have been facing a storm called COVID-19 since the beginning of the year. And we know that it is spiking and we are praying that the Lord would turn it around. Somehow the Lord would Someone would come up with a vaccine and uh, people of God will be saved from the distress that we are in today. We want to pray for the government, of course, especially we think of the need of